Hey guys, Ryan here, and welcome to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. I've been talking about this all year long, and I just, I'm so excited. When I saw this today, when I got it in my hands today, I was just staring at the cover like, I can't believe it's finally here. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a bit of a longer spiel than I normally do at the beginning of this, because there's a lot of things to go over. Um, one, I really have to thank Spike Chunsoft, and I think NIS America is their publisher? I think. Uh, for rolling back the whole, uh, anti-streamer slash let's player kind of thing they had going on, where they were like, you can't post videos past chapter one. They kind of took a step back and said like, hey, our fan base is responding to this negatively, and we really think we should do this. So they took a step back and just kind of said, hey, it's okay if you guys want to do this. We won't take down your videos or give you strikes or anything. We don't recommend doing this, but you're free to do it. So thank you guys a lot. A lot of the times, companies really tend to get just stuck in their opinions, and they don't want to listen. And you guys really listen, so thank you. And because they did that, I've had a lot of people asking, where do I start with this, and is it okay to watch this if I've never played Danganronpa before? Uh, in short, I will be talking a lot about the spoilers from the first and second game. Not so much another episode or the anime, not because I haven't experienced them, but mainly just because I, they're not vivid in my memory as much as 1 and 2 just stick in there. So if you are wondering how can I get into Danganronpa and what is the watch slash play order, my recommended way to go about this, and what is probably like the medium fastest way to do this, is to watch the Danganronpa 1 anime which actually sums up the story relatively well. I'm going to leave a link in the description to Crunchyroll where you can watch that legally and support the animators that did that, and then play the second game, which is on PSN or Steam. If you're one of those guys that doesn't really care about spoilers, this game is supposed to be a somewhat standalone slash fresh start for the series. I'm not sure if it's connected to Danganronpa 1 or 2 in any way though, so if you just want to watch without prior knowledge, you can. With minimal confusion. That is my recommended order to go about things because it's really a wonderful series. But if you really, really want to just get into this series, regardless, and you do not care, which I, this isn't the route I recommend, there are summaries out there on YouTube that sum up the first two games, so that's always an option for you too. But once again, I'm recommending to play the games. Lastly, we did do a playthrough of the demo on this channel that will also be in the description, so you can see my original playthrough of that, where I kind of saw all the characters and their talents already. I have played the first two games, so I'm very excited to see this, and yeah, why don't we get started? I'm like shaking in my chair right now. Cross save. Oh, from, from like, uh, is there a Vita version of this? I, I would actually be surprised if there wasn't a Vita version. New game, so, oh yes, if you load save data from the demo version, you will unlock a special reward, load demo version save data. I don't know what that's going to unlock for us, honestly. Uh, as a thank you for playing the demo version, you will receive 333 monocoins, nail brush, present, and machine gun skill. Uh, select which voice. We're gonna go with English. I'm sure the Japanese is just fine. I have no idea what all these could possibly be. Oh, you know that'd be cool if these were like cases you could go do individually. Anyways. Oh, so we can choose difficulties on everything. There's a logic difficulty and action difficulty. We're just gonna go normal because like it's a visual novel with some light gameplay elements. I'm not gonna like torture myself because I have some illogical thinking as you guys have probably already seen in Ace Attorney. Remember that one time Clavier threw his guitar three countries away? I do. Oh, what? No way. Whoa. Are they seriously showing flash? They're showing flashbacks to all the games. That is a super cool way to go about this. And they're doing this surprisingly spoiler-free. So yeah, Ultra Despair Girls was a side story for those of you who don't know. It was done really well, it was a very different type of game. And then there was the anime. Which I also watched. And uh, this anime comes after everything else in the story. And this game comes after the anime, I'm guessing. Story. Is not over. This story is not over. 
A new... Killing game will begin again. I saw some uh, pictures of typo versions of that intro. I'm not sure if those are real or not. Team Danganronpa. Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Oh my god, I'm so hyped. I don't even care if this series ends up being like another Nier where no one watches it. I, we're going to go all the way through. We're going to go all the way through. So this is my final warning. I will be spoiling the past two games coincidentally when I start talking about this. So if you are here and you're worried about that, now is your time to leave because I will be talking about them. Nothing. No light, no sound. No form, no voice. No knowledge of who I am. Who I am? Who am I? I extend a hand. A hand that belongs to no one. To take hold of my existence. Oh, there she is. Hi, Kaede. Is she wearing... Is she wearing a different outfit? Okay, I don't want to skip this, but last time I remember the audio balance was way out of whack, so... Oh, I can't open a menu or anything, so we're just gonna have to go with it for now. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. I just remembered who I am. Nice to meet me. Nice to meet me? <laughs> I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. Hello. Ultimate Revival. That's a name. It's a chapter name. Kaede, uh, uh, okay, so can I open the menu now? No, I can't. Okay, that's fine. Kaede Akamatsu. I, I did want to note a really cool detail here. I didn't notice, and I don't know how I didn't see it, how the ends of the uh, text box are actually supposed to be these kind of simplistic guns. I didn't notice that. I don't know how I didn't see that. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. <laughs> ah! I couldn't even brace for impact as, a, as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. Ah, ow! But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? Where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a bump. I looked around. A classroom? Yeah, this is a classroom, all right, but I don't recognize it. Going to class, silly. Uh. Oh, this is a dream. I just have to pinch myself, right? <laughs> so I pinch my cheek. But all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. <laughs> um. um, okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. No, But no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't. Bang. <laughs> what? Is someone already dead? Was that a gun? Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... Dead bo- Oh, he's not dead. The boy came stumbling out. <laughs> I thought it was the murder already, like, Nope, no need to explain the rules anymore, just die. And then we'll start the game. <laughs> a normal boy dressed in a, high s in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student, too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head... Ah! <laughs> he screamed as if, he'd just, uh, as, as if he'd just seen a monster fell on his butt and scooted back. Yeah, that generic monster movie thing to do. I've done that in real life, so... No need to be afraid, it's just a blonde girl. Uh, who are you? Are you- wait, oh, he's a man. <laughs> Already messing his characters up. Who are you? Are you with those other guys? Huh? Huh? What other guys? The, the people who kidnapped me. Kidnap? <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, where am I? What are you gonna do to me? Hey. Hey, hold on. <laughs> I swear she just said hey three times. I firmly gripped his shoulders. You know? What's your name? Huh? huh? Uh, um... Oh, I'm uh, Shuichi Saihara. I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Uh, did I get the right Akamatsu? Yes, I did get that right. I remember in the Fire Emblem Guide, I was like, Amaterasu, and you guys are murdering me over getting that pronunciation wrong. <laughs> now listen to me, Suichi. 
Shut up. You're not the only one who's confused right now. Oh, okay, Kaede, just chill. Huh? Uh, sorry. After making him shut up, I, re I retrace my steps again. Wow, she is very different from the last two. That's right. I was kidnapped too. Oh, wow, this Suddenly is a different intro. When all of a sudden, someone shoved me into a car. I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. Everyone pretended like nothing happened. It made me think how rotten the world is. Huh. And then, I lost consciousness. That's right. Hey, little girl, want some candy? Ha, joke's on you. You just lost yourself a ride and some candy. <laughs> and when I woke up, I was inside that locker. Same with me. We were kidnapped by the same people. Seems like it. But why me? My family's not rich, and I'm no one special. I'm just a normal high school girl. There's no reason to kidnap me. Me either. I'm just a regular guy. Nothing special at all. And this is a school, right? Why did they take us to a school? I wonder why. Hey there, I'm sure you're confused right now, thinking, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give a basic explanation about the controls. I know how to use the L stick control. Uh, when you have your target in your sights, press the X button to investigate it. R stick uh, controls your view. You can also press the R1 button to smack objects around. I know it seems like I'm being impatient right now, especially for those of you who haven't seen me play through the demo, but I've already seen all these controls, so I apologize. Who knows, you might find something amazing. You can always press the L1 button to return objects to their original position, so relax. However, not every object can be moved. Thank you for understanding. If you press the triangle button, a mysterious investigative power will activate. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information. But if you forget anything, you can press the options button to review the controls. Handy, huh? Investigate this place thoroughly. That's how you progress the story, you know? <laughs> Just immediately starts touching this boy. Uh, uh wh why, why are you touching me? You might be the kidnapper. <laughs> Just like sniffing him out. I can smell the kidnappy on you. Um, well, Suiji, I remember you can... Oh, okay. We woke up inside of these lockers. But why were we in these lockers in the first place? I, I don't know. We got bullied and shoved in. That's a blackboard, right? Every every classroom has one, but... This blackboard is also an LCD screen. That's something you don't see every day. Honestly, that's in most schools nowadays. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, hey, uh, let's look at the barbed wire. The outside window is covered in greenery and barbed wire. Why were the school windows covered in barbed wire? I always find that interesting how Danganronpa has like these easily solvable problems that you could use to get out of the school, but the character's just like, no, no, that's that's terrifying. I couldn't get through those giant pieces of barbed wire. <laughs> All right, Suichi, let's have a little talk now. Um, let's just stay calm and think. I'm sorry I shouted at you earlier. No. It's okay, I only wet my pants a little. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Hey. hey, anyway, this place is weird. You don't think we got caught up in something bad, do you? Something bad? What's going on? What have we gotten ourselves into? You have no idea. Where am I? Why was I kidnapped? Who kidnapped me? I don't understand this at all. But that doesn't matter, at least for now. Hey, let's just get out of here as fast as we can and find some help. Uh, okay. Yeah, good idea. We ran as fast as we could to the classroom door and opened it with all our strength. But then... Oh my god. Is that a Metal Gear Rising boss? <laughs> I'd like to think they just contacted Platinum and was like, uh, can we borrow some of your assets? Like, sure, which one? Uh, every Metal Gear. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right. Hell yeah, found you. What? what? A, a monster? Uh, th that's not a monster. It's a robot. <laughs> well, hi, Monokuma. This is bad. We need to get out of here. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 Oh, wait, that's not Monokuma. That sounds like one of the mono bears from the demo. I remember that's very reminiscent of the island. What the hell? A uh, Kaide over here.
Oh, it's actually coming. Jeez. Get away. Oh, we can run. The way that's kind of frame reminds me of Etrian Odyssey, honestly. Like with the uh, giant mo Oh, shit. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Did we dodge? Don't go that way over here. I wasn't trying to go that way, Suichi. Oh, no. They're actually kind of fast. This is the most action-packed visual novel I have ever played. What the hell kind of funding did Monokuma get between games? Ah, jeez, what what are those things? I feel like the cat voice is working really well for, uh, Kaide here. It's kind of what I gave her in the demo, too. I think it's working really well. Oh, of course. Is everyone else going to be in the gym? As we frantically dove toward the door, we saw... Something we never expected to see. Oh, Ooh, just people. More people have arrived. Oh my god. Yeah, those look like people. Oh, they're all wearing different outfits than the ones we saw in the demo. Huh? Did you all get chased by that monster too? Uh, oh, yeah. What are they? What do they want with us? Do you want me to check on what's happening? You can't! It's too dangerous out there! It's likely that monster still lurks nearby. Wait! I shouted at the top of my lungs. Who are you guys? And why am I here? And that makes 16. What? I'm talking about us. There are 16 of us, all high schoolers. What do you think that means? That means you're going to learn how to divide really quickly. 16 high schoolers? Oh, do I get to talk to all of them? Oh, right. Didn't answer your question. I'm sorry, but... Let's leave it... Let's leave it at that for now. What? Uh, um, okay. You know... Anyway, why does it matter if there are 16 of us? There might be more coming. No. Nah, I think this is all of us. If this is what I think it is, anyway. What? If this is what you think it is. Hey! Oh, yeah, it's everyone's favorite. <laughs> the demo. What do you- what? You some kind of fucking know-it-all? If you want to know some- if you know something, spit it out. It was at that moment an unknown voice suddenly echoed throughout the gym. Okay, quiet down, shimmy down, shimmy down. Oh, I love- I- I don't know what it is. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I'm loving the grail thing for Monokuma. No, 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 it's simmer down. At least I'm assuming that's what that is. Huh? Who's that? Where are they? Oh, they have a robot for each of them. God damn it. I thought I could escape the puns. Are you serious? Damn it, there are more monsters. We're surrounded. These aren't monsters. They're exis exisols. They're highly mobile bipedal weapon platforms. Weapons? Should we take these for a spin by killing one of them? Oh, wait a minute! It wouldn't be any fun picking on plain, good-for-nothing commoners. <laughs> You're right, we should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you till your guts come gushing out like toothpaste. Wait. But please, not like toothpaste. Oh, or I, I just imagined it, I can't handle the gore. <laughs> then what if we start peeling off their limbs one by one like string cheese? Please, not like string cheese either! <laughs> Wait, we can't kill them with the Exisols. According to the schedule, the Exisols aren't supposed to show up till later. But we're in the Exisols right now. <laughs> oh, so we are. Oh, we screwed up. We're not supposed to be the Exisols in the <laughs> for our first appearance. I told you we should have read the script. <laughs> what are you saying? No, you didn't. Well, why don't we just get out of these mechs? It shouldn't be too late for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, ready? That is freaking Monotaro. Monosuke. Monofane. Monodam. Or Monodam. Mono Kid. Monokid. 
You know what, out of any Danganronpa start, I think this has to be the most confused group of students ever. <laughs> huh? Hey. See, we're out of Exosols. We're out of the Exosols. Now we're not scary anymore, right? 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 His desperation is strangely terrifying. You punk asses better brace yourselves. And he's just outright terrifying. I'm a messenger from hell, from the depths of hell, here to drag you down to hell. Hey. No, no, Monokid. You're saying hell too much. It's ruining the hellish impact. Hey. Eh? What does hellish mean? What? Uh, hey, what's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? I, I have no idea. Hey. Moving stuffed animals. Yeah. Well, on top of that, it seems like they're calling themselves Mono Cubs. Moving stuffed animals? Mono Cubs? Huh? Wait, you call yourselves the Mono Cubs? I thought that was him talking, but the song actually has someone talking in a very bassy voice. <laughs> oh, don't bother asking Mono Dumb. He only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have really done a number on his heart. Jeez, you guys have a brutal relationship. Isn't that right, Mono Dumb? Mono Dumb, you won't even open your heart to me. Looks like I was right. This is exactly what I thought it was. Who's behind all this? Why the ridiculous theatrics? Shut up. Yeah, shut up! All, all you who are reacting way too similar to this is boring. Actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring too? Hey. Wait a minute, you think maybe they haven't been given their first memory yet? Given? Is that how this works? Yeah. Huh? That should have happened before they woke up. Hey, answer my question. If you guys are the Mono Cubs, then... Hey, who the hell are you, punks? Huh? huh? What do you mean? What? We're just wondering, do you guys... Oh. He's talking like a mafioso, I guess? We are just wondering, do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? Ultimate talents? I, I don't have one. I can't do shit. I can barely make pancakes. I set my house on fire yesterday. Making cereal. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call that an ultimate talent. Uh, me, me, me neither. I, I don't have anything like that. Yeah, same here. I knew it. They haven't gotten their first memory yet. <sighs> Monofani, weren't you in charge of that? <laughs> She's sleeping. Did she? Does she seem really tired to you guys? She's obviously faking it. Even if she's faking, she looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. <laughs> if you say so. Uh, anyway, if you guys really are the Mono Cubs, then... Don't worry about us. The real issue is used bastards. <laughs> well, issue is putting it mildly. This is actually a huge problem. Use all have forgotten your talents and become generic high school students. <laughs> huh? Forgotten? Well, I guess we're just gonna have to scrap the game and turn it all into a dating sim. Yeah! <laughs> I would actually be kind of okay with that if there's a DR just playing dating sim just to see how that would go. <laughs> see, according to the backstory, there's this ultimate hunt going on. You've all lost your memories and become different people because of that ultimate hunt. Um, what are you talking about? Well, in your current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this. Can I pause the game yet? Oh, I still can't, like, go into the menu or anything. So we're just gonna have to wait on that. I might have to turn the volume down because I remember in the demo I had to adjust the volume settings like nine times. It was ridiculous how bad the audio balancing was in there. Well, in your current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this. The first thing we need you guys to do is remember your true selves. Yeah, you need to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. What the? Are you awake already? I, I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? How are we supposed to talk when you keep asking so many freaking questions? Yeah, we're not some swift-footed singer who's landed another future ex-boyfriend. Wait, what? Was that a- was that a reference? Let's do this already. No one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school whiners. With minimal confusion. First, we'll update your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spiffy. I just want all the ch clothes to change on the spot. Oh, they're just gonna hand it to him. 
Oh my goodness, no, we're gonna have magical girl scenes for all- Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, her skirt had musical notes or a music staff on it? I never noticed that, actually. That's neat. Yeah, I've always liked her design. How <laughs> she confused she is? She's like, I, I don't own any of this, but it's really cool and I want to keep it. Yay. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to go through every one of them. Huh? Huh? Oh, what am I wearing? Hmm, looking good. Now, now you look more like Ultimates. Huh? Uh, ultimates, really? So... Next up, the memory you've all been waiting for. Hell yeah, get ready. Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. K killing game? Right. Now then, after the flashback light helps you remember your amazing talents, this amazing story will begin for real this time. Was there a point in that aside from being a tutorial? What? A okay. Were those clothes infused with, like, some <laughs> drug that seeped through their skin? I'm very confused. I like the idea of saving. I am a saving kind of guy. Because I get a lot of things wrong. Ultimate Revival. Yeah, we already said that. Pekaide was on the other side last time. Oh, we're doing it again. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Oh, so we're doing it right with their memories. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. Ah! I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. Ow! <laughs> but thanks to that pain, I went from daze to annoyed real quick. Huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a bump. I looked around. Uh, yeah, this is a classroom, all right, but I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? I don't know what you're doing here, Kaide. I really don't. Oh, this is a dream. I just have to pinch myself again. Pinch my cheek. All it did was make my head hurt in two places out of one. Okay, hold on a second. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't. Bam. And he falls out of the locker. Ah! Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As fearfully I turned around, as I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened, and it's that guy again, except wearing his proper clothes. A boy came stumbling out. Ah! Uh, a normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head, yeah. ah! How rude, don't freak out at me like I'm some sort of monster. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry too, okay? I just have no idea what's going on. But all the more reason, we need to sit, we need to stay calm. Oh, Jim No Pete Petty Number One by Eric Sati. Okay, so she's really into classical music. Yeah, that's right. Try to imagine that sorrowful melody filling your head and soothing your heart. Uh, I, I don't know what that song is. Ah! A teddy bear? Oh, no, it's a monster. You can freak out about this. Ah! <laughs> I don't think she was talking to you. That's so mean. You humans are the real monsters for calling us monsters. Although if we are monsters, at least we're pretty monsters. I agree. I'm glad I was born with these looks. I definitely won the genetic lottery. <laughs> huh? What are they? Why are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? We're not stuffed monocubs, we're the stuffed animals! Hey. Psst, mono kid, you're saying your lines backwards. <laughs> no stuffed animals, us, the monocubs. <laughs> oh jeez, it's even worse now. Uh, monocubs? Oh, you've heard of us! No, of course not! I've never even seen walking, talking stuffed animals. As soon as I said that, these monocub things started looking at each other and. Yay, it worked! You had me worried there for a second. Uh, hey, worried about what? I don't understand what's going on. Will someone explain something to me? Okay. <laughs> Alright, now let's tackle the issue one at a time. 
You're so damn reliable, Monotaro. He's like a sixth grader helping out a fifth grader. <laughs> Which means we should keep our expectations reasonable. Well, what's your question? I have loads of questions, but for starters... Where are we? This looks like a school. Okay, so this place is called the Ultimate Academy for, G for Gifted Juveniles. Really? Not a hoax peak? I guess it's supposed to be a brand new start, isn't it? So... Uh, what would the abbreviation? The UAFGL. The Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles? The Ultimate Academy? I've never heard of a school like that. Of course you haven't. This school was made for you 16 Cretans. 16? Yeah, there are 16 Ultimates at this school. Huh? Ultimates? <laughs> you know what Ultimates are, right? The government scouts them through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. Ultimate basically means you're particularly prodigious in a particular talent. Basically, the Ultimate Initiative exists to c cultivate talent throughout the country. Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts. Like free school tuition, voting privileges, el eligibility to run for elected office, and dying. What was that last? Nothing. They get even grant money too, right? Students chosen by the Ultimate Initiative are known as Ultimates. Hell yeah, students would do anything for the honor of being the chosen ultimate. Not really, because there's ultimate, like, everything. There's stupid ultimates too, like, ultimate little sister, and ultimate bird man, and that guy that looked like he was, like, the ultimate frisbee thrower in the anime? I don't know, it gets ridiculous. I don't need the explanation, I already know, because I'm an ultimate too. That means you gotta remember this time, so don't forget anymore. Yeah, forgetting about your ultimate talent is such a waste. Huh? What do you mean, forgetting? Shut up! Shut up. Quit your yapping and get started already. Huh? Get started with what? Why exploring this academy, of course. As you should introduce yourselves to the other ultimates. Because you guys are all going to do an activity together later. Awesome! I got a rager right now! Well then. I don't want to know what a rager means. I really don't want to know. Well, so it's just you and me now. Ah, they left, but I still have so many questions. <laughs> just sitting with his mouth open. Th this isn't a dream, right? No, but I wish it was. <laughs> uh, anyway, we have to find a way out of here. But they said there were 16 ultimate students here. Does that mean he's one too? I find it kind of interesting how this time around all the students and characters are... They seem to be near instantly freaked out. In a lot of the other games, like, they were confused, but they're more just like, oh, Alright, I'm gonna look around. Here, Kaide and Suichi seem... Freaking... Done. Um, are you an ultimate student too? Y yeah, well then. Suichi Saihara, ultimate detective. The most OP skill to have in this entire game. I am so curious. Do, by the way, I'm having a strict no-spoilers policy, so please don't spoil things for me. Please. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm very curious as to how this guy is the detective, or the ultimate detective, and how he's not going to be broken in the story. Because there has to be something that makes it so they can't just solve every single case. What, what you're a detective? That's amazing. Uh, no, I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that came across and now people call me that. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh, sorry if I'm talking over the characters talking. Once again, they're super quiet. I'm trying my best not to. I'll have to turn up the volume a little bit. Ultimate Pianist? My favorite part about this is this is the first game in which the protagonist has had an ultimate ability right off the bat known to them. As we're in the second game, you had to wait till the end. In the first game, it was just like, oh, I was just lucky. <laughs> ultimate Pianist. Well, no one calls me the Ultimate Pianist, usually just Piano Freak. <laughs> She's so cute as a baby. She's the exact same as I was when I was a child. Oh my that I would forget to eat and sleep. Oh my god, she's so passionate. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts and people started praising me. I mean, it's it's a very similar story with guitar, but I'm seeing a lot of myself in this character right now, kind of like 
in odd amounts. So you got your ultimate title? That's way more impressive than me. No. Except for the award-winning part. No one cares about what I do. But this is my first time meeting another ultimate Oh wait, that's her. But this is my first time meeting an ultimate student. Don't know why my voice was so deep. Gods, you know, messing everything up already. Well, ultimates are scattered all over the country. They're difficult to find. Even so, there are 16 ultimate students gathered here now. But why is everyone here? Were we kidnapped? If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the ultimates? Oh, about that. I don't remember. Huh? Huh, you don't remember? I've been trying to remember it, but I can't remember, no matter how hard I try. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got there. It feels like- whoops. <laughs> Let me reread that. Sorry. Little sensitive on the X button here. It feels like- it's like that- like that memory just fell out of my head. Same here. Huh? You know? <laughs> I can't remember anything. Even though I'm trying so hard to remember. Whoa, what was that? I'm gonna laugh if we get to the end of this game. It's like, the world was actually taken over by aliens. <laughs> but no, I feel like it's trying to invoke like a memory in the player. Like, oh, they're they're hooked into the Matrix. <laughs> like, uh, like in the past game. What Feels happened? so weird when I'm spoiling things, but I already well gave that like warning a while ago. So just warning there. Uh, are you okay? What's wrong? No. no, I'm fine. I just got a headache. That's all. But or that could have been like the memory wiping machine or whatever they're using. It can't be a coincidence that we both don't remember what happened to us. I I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. Right. We're confused. We just need to relax. It's all. Oh, oh, oh. Let's uh, let's imagine Maurice Ravel's sonate sonatine. That's... Is that music? I I don't really know much about music. I see. I see. That's unfortunate. When we get out of here. I'll I'll share it with oh, you. Right. But first, let's look for a way out. If there are other Ultimate students here, we should talk to them, too. At least one of them has got to know something. Yeah, good idea. Obtain Friendship Fragment! You can leave a room by pressing the circle button or interacting with the door. Cool. Just want to talk to you again and see what you have to say. What's going on? I hope someone here knows. We'll be fine, so don't look down. Everything will be make sense soon. Y yeah. All right, well, I checked out this stuff earlier, so let's just get out of here. Oh, I love that transition screen. Like, back in the demo, if you guys were not watching, I was flipping out about the design of this game and how beautiful everything is. Even though it's a hallway, there's sure a lot of plants growing around here. And the air here is heavy, oppressively heavy, as if forcing you to recall your fear, smothering you in anxiety. This is just school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? Huh. What's the matter? What's... I just felt like something in the pocket of my uniform. I felt something in the pocket of my uniform when I looked. Oh, well, finally! I found this inside. It says I can turn down the sound because it's abrasively high. It's some kind of mini tablet computer. Oh, maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack felt heavier. The word monopad is written on it. When did this get in my backpack? My name was displayed when I booted it up, like a student handbook. I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. Let's just hold on for, to them for now. Yeah, I agree. Too bad I already threw mine away in the last room. What? Yeah, I went into the incinerator. I don't need that shit, though. I'm too smart for that. Congratulations, you can now use the monopad. Press square to open the monopad. It's got tons of information in it. Stuff like the report card and map. Be sure to check it out. And if you've got a sharp eye, you may have already noticed. By getting closer to your fellow students, your report card will be updated with content. Since you are now acquaintances with Mr. Saihara, this info has already been added. And I bet you've also already noticed that you can level up by performing actions. When you level up, your skill slots increase, so you can equip even more skills. There are a lot of skills, so view them in the report card. If you want skills, make friends, strengthen your bonds. Be sure to test out all the skills. Also, there's one more important thing I have to tell you. You can save and load the game from the handbook. Make sure you save all the important stuff. Well then, off you go. Find your classmates. Fine, don't tell me what to do. If I want to be Loner Kaide, I'm going to be Loner Kaide. I'm a Lone Ranger. Don't know what that's supposed to mean at all. <laughs> oh, but we have stuff that we got from the uh, demo. 
you have 0.1% of everything. So that's a nail brush. You can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna hold on to that then. That's all we have though. We don't have anything else. I swore it said we got more. And we do have an ability, but we can't... I don't think we can equip it yet or anything. Because we got the one... Oh, whoa, look at this map. She, there's someone in this room with us? I didn't see her, though. Okay, hopefully this will sound somewhat better with the voice. It's gonna take a little bit of tweaking, because it seems to actually have been a tad bit improved from the demo. I'm not quite sure, though. It said some ladies here with us. There was a yellow dot. That must be her. Hello again. Uh, hey. hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Uh, uh huh? um, did she not hear me? Okay, then. Hey, hello. Uh, uh huh? what? She still can't hear me? Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin. No, no, I don't think that's the case. No. You never know. We already saw a moving teddy bear. <laughs> as I said, as I said that, I poked her cheek. And felt her skin squish beneath my fingertip. Uh, uh, poking her doesn't work either. Then maybe she is just a doll. But she looks so real. Try it, Suichi. Poke, poke. Huh? Uh, no thanks. I... No. <laughs> just do it. It's so fun. <laughs> I, as I grabbed his hand to make him poke the other yeah. cheek. I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. So she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. Wait! If you knew that, why'd you try to make me poke her? Huh? Because she wasn't responding. Oh, wow, my voice is cracked trying to do her voice. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. Um, You're ignoring us? Isn't that a bit rude? But... Well, well, isn't it rude to force someone to talk to you when they don't want to? Oh, but it's fine. I feel like talking right. now. Oh, wow, she has a goddamn high voice. I don't think I can emulate that. All right! <laughs> It's gonna be like close to Nephany, but not quite. Now let's let's talk. What do you want to talk? What do you want to start with? Right, right. Oh my goodness, she's sparkling everywhere, all over. My favorite Doramon episode. Wait, a Doramon reference right off? Oh my goodness, I have a feeling there's gonna be a shit ton of pop culture references. My favorite Doramon episode is 53. The one security cameras in the target practice. You know? Um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? <gasps> my name oh. is Tsumugi Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. Yeah, I remember that. The ultimate gun cosplayer. So, so you're a cosplayer. I guess. I guess. Are you surprised? I get that a lot. I'm s since I'm so plain. I, I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. I bet it's because you got people oogling all your curves on a daily basis, huh? Right, Suichi? Right? Right? Uh, I guess so. God damn it, don't you have any sexual attraction to anything? I have it to you, Kaede. Yeah, just shut up. Um, Kaede, you sound like a creepy old man. <laughs> Normally, I don't like people looking at me like that. Actually, I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. But, but lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. You're right. I'd rather wear my outfits myself with love than give them to people like that. Mm. Wow, you're pretty intense. Oh. It, it makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. I see. Oh, well, of course, the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. Yeah. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at the zoo. Mm. That's so amazing. You're pretty You're pretty much a celebrity, hey. you know. Uh, is it all right if I ask you something, too? Earlier, you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What was it? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, we needed to ask her that. Such a nice job, Suichi. It's from Oh, that bronze dragon statue over there. It's its from that one thing. <laughs> I like that line. I, I'm just so plain curious about it. Um. Um, it's, it, it's almost like it's floating, right? It Doesn't it look pretty yeah. out of place? Now that you mention it, you're right. It sort of bothers me, too. <laughs> this is cool, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There's trees and grass growing inside. I can't find any exits. And it seems like we're the only people here. Actually. Are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to get out? Um... Kaede, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that frightened look on her face was sort of sexy. <laughs> uh, this again? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and, and dandy. You're pretty optimistic, Kaede. Mm. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. Worrying won't get you anywhere. You know, it's better just to be carefree. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. Yeah. 
So yeah, so let's try and find a way out. You obtained a friendship fragment. Sumiki's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. I'll read all the report cards later. There's no point in pulling them open one by one and reading them now. I thought we could open a detective mode, but I guess while we're out here like this. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the music room? Huh? Huh? won't open, but this room does look like it was made for me. <laughs> it does, kind of. What, did they make custom rooms for all the talents? Ah, they're here again! What do you think this place is? Check it out, it's fancy fancy writing. Seems like a place for eggheads, even though I'm holding the guitar. Who needs... He's holding like a mixture between a B... Yeah, he's holding like a BC Rich guitar. So that's modeled after. Huh? Isn't this an ultimate research lab? You stupid! What the hell? Why would you try and tell them we were trying to make it all dramatic? Oh, I see, I'm sorry. <laughs> Huh? What's an ultimate research Yay! lab? We want you guys to keep honing your ultimate talents, so we set up these rooms for you. Oh wow, that that enthusiastic voice really kind of suits him. This is the ultimate pianist lab, but we set up labs for the other ultimates too, of course. Well, actually, most of them are still hidden, though. Um... Uh, by the way, this the research in this research, or the reason that this research lab is still locked is, is we're still setting up everything. Sorry, we'll hustle to get it all ready. <laughs> the hell you saying? The hell you saying? <laughs> That's good advice and all, but don't you mean to say hold your horses? <laughs> Mono, Mono Kid is such a dummy. Hey! hey, what are you laughing at? I'll bully you like I bully Mono Dam. So long, I'm really uncomfortable about Mono Dam. I don't know what it is about him. Um. Uh, it seems like the music room, but I guess it's an ultimate lab. Hey. Do you think there are really other rooms for this? Like, for everyone? What would the ultimate detect- Well, I guess we have a bunch of detective stuff. Hmm. I wonder about that, too. Anyway, I thought this was the music room. Oh, I really wanted to play the piano. Oh, well, I can play as much piano as I want when I finally escape this place. <laughs> Let's see who's in classroom C. Never mind, that's locked, too. I won't open. Let's look somewhere else. You're right. Okay. Oh, look how grassy. Oh, my God. The game's detailed. I love it. Okay, where to now? I miss cosplayer, not gonna talk to you right now. Whoa. This is a very colorful school. One thing about the Danganronpa universe is like, whoever the mastermind is at any time is like, they have a sense of style, that's all I have to say. Well, I'm gonna go into the women's, oh hey, they're switched around, I think. I remember the men's being on the left side and the women's being on the right side. This is a girl's bathroom, right? No? Sweetie, do you mind waiting here? Okay. Uh, um, sure. Jeez. D don't give me that weird look. I'm just gonna check if there's anything inside. I doubt there'd be an exit, but just in case. Sorry. Uh, so sorry. I, I just, I've never talked to a girl before. Yeah, I know, I can tell. Toilets seem normal, but it's weird that the plants are growing this thick. Oh, she's not here this time. Oh, well, that makes it a bit different, at least. I can't really explore anything except for the... This monitor is way too high-tech to be using the school. That's about it. Because I don't think we have our ability to hit things like we did in the demo, do we? Hold on, I just want to... Nope. Oh, no, we do. We can destroy everything. Oh, we get coins for destroying things, huh? That's interesting. Yeah, screw the soap dispensers and the mirrors. This is the boys' bathroom, right? I I can't go in the, there. Not even this situation. Um, um, if you want, I could go look. Huh? What? I I'm not that curious about what's in there. <laughs> Remember. Well, this is an unusual building. Anything could be in there. Wait here a minute. With that switch, you open the door and walked inside. Hmm. It was just a normal bathroom, nothing out of the ordinary. No one was inside. Did you break all the soap dispensers? Why would anyone do that? No, no reason. I see. That scared me. Maybe detectives live for those kind of scary situations. <laughs> Kaida, you did the exact same thing. You just went into the bathroom. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's uh, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. No one's gonna get that joke if they're new to the channel. <laughs> Oh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped, too? 
Well, you both look alright, that's good. No. no. He has kind of a deeper voice. Situation could be better, though. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Hey, hey let me ask you something. Do you remember how you got here? Um, um, if you're asking us, then you don't remember earlier, do you? Actually, actually huh, the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Huh, everyone? No. I asked the others too. They all said they don't remember. So the others don't remember either. You got me. It's like we'll have amnesia or something. Wouldn't that be a coincidence? Amnesia. Right? Amnesia. But... Ah, uh, but that's not normal. If everyone here has amnesia... Well, I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation then. Huh? Huh? That's not true. Wait, Anisha's a stretch. We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. No. Or it could be group hypnosis, maybe brainwashing. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, I hope you remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. Mm. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell you the truth, how I got here is, isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also got my own talent. Uh, what? You got me. Phew, I'm in trouble. I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Um... Is that true? That expression right there is very, like, Danganronpa. I don't know why, but it seems like 70% of Danganronpas have, like, characters have a sprite with their hands in front of their face like that, and then going like, ah. Of course it is, but then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh. Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you, but then I forgot I did, right? Oh, I hate when I do that. I do that all the time. No, you haven't told me your name yet. My name yet. is Rantaro Amami. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. Yeah, okay. We're definitely going to have to go the same way I did in the demo. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. Rantaro Amami, ultimate question mark. Nice to meet you, ultimate question mark. What do you do? I'm the ultimate question. <laughs> I ask the best questions in the whole goddamn world. All right, then, like, like what? How many licks to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Ah, ah, ah. He blew my mind. <laughs> For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Actually. Is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent? Huh? What? I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what kind of ultimate I am. <laughs> Anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Jeez. Stop that. We'll escape soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you really think it's going to be that easy? Huh? I don't know why. I think that side profile of him looks really bad. I I, I don't know. Like, Rompa characters are hardly ever drawn from, like, the side, but something about that looks off. Huh? What do you mean? No. Nothing. Just feeling. He, he, looks, <laughs> he looks fine from the front. <laughs> hey, don't worry about that, alright? I thought he'd be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but he's kind of unnerving. I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Friendship. His report card's been updated. Well, talk to you later, buddy. But I would at least, like, I would at least like to remember my talent by the time we get out of here. Looks like we've got plenty of time. Oops, sorry, shouldn't jinx it. Well, I'm pretty sure this is, like, where we have to... Whoa, that is menacing. <laughs> I kind of want Dio just to step out of there. <laughs> you thought it was Monokuma, but it was me, Dio. School store. Um. I guess this doesn't open. Let's look somewhere right. else. Okay. God damn it, I wanted just a Hershey's bar so bad. Don't worry, I keep one in my hat at all times. Oh, re really? Yeah, they call me the Hershey's man. Oh, hey, the same people that were in here as the demo, except for Astronaut Man. Is this a dining hall? A dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. But this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. I doubt it's anything like a typical school. Rules. This looks like rules for the dining hall. Dining hall rules. You may eat any food you find in the dining hall. Please take responsibility for all utensils and dishes used and clean up after yourself. The dining hall will be locked during nighttime. Nighttime, so it's closed at night? I feel like that's gonna take that's going to play a part in one of these cases. It has to. The store is blocked by barbed wire. Same goes for the classroom windows. Don't tell me the all the exits are blocked. Hmm. It seems like this place has all the facilities you expect, but it's covered in overgrowth. Could that mean this has been abandoned for a long time?
Oh, great. It's the character that I know everyone loves straight from the beginning. <laughs> Seriously, after I looked in the comment section, I saw no one, no one talked about this character in a positive way. But, like, we don't know enough about her yet, too, obviously. So. Huh? huh? I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy. I can unleash my super. <laughs> don't you know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? God damn it. That's... Uh, I've heard that pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. Really? Yes! Is that a thing? I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. I'll protect myself with Neo Aikido. So, fun fact. After I recorded that episode, I was actually driving down the road, and I noticed there was an Aikido place there. I didn't really think about it, but I'd actually been there before. I, I did several martial arts. I think I, I was a brown belt in about three martial arts, and I had been down there before. It, it was an interesting place. Huh? But I, I don't know about Neo Aikido. I don't even know if that's a real thing. Uh, Aikido, then you're... Oh, yes. Oh, you... I'm Tango Chavashira. Yeah, The ultimate Aikido master. With guns. I see. <laughs> Seriously, I want to put with guns at the end of every ultimate talent just because of that spiraling revolver barrel in the background. Or, sorry, revolver. I don't know what you call that. Clip? Oh, I guess cylinder. Yeah, cylinder. Ooh, I always imagine Aikido Masters to be huge, burly guys, but you're so cute. C cute? <laughs> ah, stop it. I I'm not cute. My face wrinkles when I suck down the shake, and when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Mm. Um, I see, but I think you're cute, right, Suichi? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Uh, girls, yeah, girls. Yeah, never mind, I changed my mind. Huh? Well, what's the matter? Your face looks really intense now. I don't like being praised by degenerate males. Mm. Degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around them? Yes! Yes, it's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. Yeah. You're right, that is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around hey. men. Uh, by the way, what is Neo this Neo Aikido you That's mentioned? Right. Neo Aikido is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. Okay, so it's not a real thing. That's what I thought. So your Aikido is all self-taught. That was it? Okay, good. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a little glad I didn't have to talk to you more. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. It's been going on for a little bit longer than I would have uh, anticipated. If you guys did enjoy the first episode, please leave a like. I hope I can only... I know there's gonna be a bunch of great DRV3 LPs out there, and I only hope I can provide a unique spin on this. Thank you to Spike Chunsoft once again for allowing us to stream slash play this game, and thank you all for watching. I hope I can entertain you and provide for you the most fun in, uh, experience possible in this game. If you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Right now.